U R N Oatmeal Coconut Cookie. Today, baby dolls, we're going to go through some juicy news. Jamie Dildo from the JP Mosquito clan has said that crypto should go to zero. But first, we are witnessing Bitcoin continue its kissing and hugging of $44,000. We have been watching it for a while now. And of course, what's most important, friends, what's most important is even though this has been forecasted, prophesized for over a year that we would get into the golden box of friendship zone and people are going to call for all-time highs and they're going to say, buy the rumor, buy the news and everything else. Even though we knew this a year ago, we are now here and what's everybody saying? Buy the rumor, buy the news. Some would say, I am very scared. We are here right now. Now, if you have, well, friends, I can't tell you what I own, what I don't know, what I'm doing right now. I'm not going to tell you that, but I'm just telling you right now. If I had Bitcoin, maybe you've heard of that coin. If I had Bitcoin and I had a trading stash of the Bitcoin, we just play around with it, okay? I would start trimming right now. Now, start trimming does not mean sell everything. It means start, I would start getting out here. Man, if they want to give you $48,000, I mean, good luck to them as well. So, I would start trimming a bit of it. Why? Just so you got something to buy the dip when it eventually does scare everyone. Of course, we hope that altcoins start moving next though. So Bitcoin might, st- might do that thing where it starts ranging around. You know, I did this in the in the chart here. You can see actually when Pepe started moving, it was around March, April here. You can see it just Bitcoin just went sideways, sideways, sideways. So if you're exiting out of it, just be careful, all right? But I'm just letting you know, you're in a sell zone. So you might say, okay, I don't have Bitcoin. Or you might say, I don't want to touch it. All right. The fact that I'm telling you, me, right, me, Hyper Turbo Bull is telling you this is a sell zone means you should not, you have no business buying Bitcoin here. You are buying at the very, very tippity top end. Okay. Yes, it might do the euphoric blow off at the very, very end. It might have like a week or something where it just goes nuts up to 48K. That doesn't matter. Okay. For the long term, these are trash prices. So you hear that? Trash. Opposite of good. This is not cheap. Okay. And literally, you are watching a gentle sir. Maybe you know him. Where is he? You're watching a gentle sir with a buy Bitcoin sign in his avatar. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, these are trash prices. Having a look at Chain Stink. Chain stink is still hovering around here. I hope that this is one of those little triangle things, those little triangle formations, friends, where it just goes up, pops up, and goes up. But look, I can draw the fib level as well on chain stink here. If you draw the fib as well, the 50 to 60% retrace is $28 to $34. Now, of course, I believe in the chain stink. I love the chain stink. Some also call it pain link. I love pain link. Okay, when it comes to chain link, if it hits that $28 to $34 mark, Mm, we're gonna have to trim something, man. We're gonna have to trim something. It's a 61% rechase. It's literally the soy zone. It's where the break even people, they look at it and they're like, screw crypto, man, I'm out. Okay, that is what people are looking at. And guess what? Bitcoin was around that price in $38,000. Okay, but you're wondering, oh, but it shot past 38,000. Yeah, yeah, they didn't get out. That's why Bitcoin's going up. But here's the thing. When it retraces and it tests them, and it could go back to 30K, guess what? You know those break-even soy boy friends? They're going to be taking a loss there. They're going to lose like minus 10, 20, or 30%. They're actually going to book the loss. Some bad news is going to come out, and they're actually going to do it. This happens time and time again. What I'm telling you is nothing new. If you've been watching markets, yes, at some point, it's going to come back and test. Maybe this $31,000 mark, who knows, at some point, right? We don't know when, but all those people with the break-even portfolios who just want nothing to do with crypto. Trust me, friends. I know, you know how we're we're cheering? Trust me. There are so many people that can't wait to get the hell out. You know who can't wait to get the hell out? Soylana VCs. That's right. If you're a Soylana VC, I'm looking at you, okay? I will have a mud wrestling contest with you any day of the week, okay? These Soylana VCs were embarrassed, by the cucumber eating vegan himself, soy bankman free, all right? They were embarrassed. They were betting that Tiffany Fong would choose SBF over Martin Shkreli, okay? Some call him Marlon Shrekti, okay? Now, 
She chose Sharekti. She did not chose Soy Bangman Free. They got embarrassed. They lost the bet. So I'm telling you, this goes deeper than you think, friends. These people are walking in offices talking about how shiny their shoes are. All right, they do wear brown leather shoes on Saturday mornings for non-formal events, by the way. Okay, they are, there's, there's water coolers. There's a cookie jar. They're walking around talking about their Christmas bonuses, right? And trust me, they want to forget that Soylana ever existed. They want to forget FTX ever existed. They want to forget the crypto bear market. And how do they do that? They are going to shield Soylana to the retailers while they get out. Funny thing is, it's not even a prophecy. It's actually been happening right now. We found the wallets of Galaxy Digital. Sir Mike Novogratz is also a friend of the channel. Sir Mike Novogratz has been OTC dumping Soylana in the background. So you got to think about it, right? The main people shilling have been dumping. So you got to think in the next cycle. Don't think about today. Yeah, there are retailers buying today. They don't know what's going on, okay? Think in the next six, nine, 12 months. The people who were pushing it out to the mainstream have been unloading the bags. They're not going to talk about it as much, okay? And yes, that's what crypto is all about. It's not really about the tech. It's about that, okay? So that's what's been going on. Now I want to watch for you. I want to show this to you, friends. Um, Jamie Dildo is the CEO of JP Mosquito, and he is scum. Okay, there's no other way to put it because he is fighting bags. Traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, and that is a use case uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have built up over many years, know your customer, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down. Okay. So basically, Jamie Dildo says he would shut crypto down. Now, of course, friends, here's the thing. The dude's irrelevant, all right? He's going to be dead soon. He's going to be out of CEO. Like, no one really cares about him. But the thing is, we need the retailers, the poor people, the downtrodden of society. We need the emotional money. We need the motivated ones. We need the people who have been left behind outsiders like me and you we need them to be on our side so for marketing and messaging i'm going to keep calling him jamie dildo okay because it really is like that because these are the scum that poop on everybody else okay and we get the the bad end of the stick every single time when it comes to this okay so everybody being recruited to this movement is going for a good cause and yes what's that cause buy our bags together <laughs> That's it. But that's what it is, friends. That's literally, that's what crypto is. We laugh about it. That's literally what crypto is. Crypto is literally telling people, hey, when you work a job, you are storing your wealth in a US or fiat government fiat bank account. You're buying their altcoin. You really are. Okay. They're just like, beep, beep, we're printed an altcoin. Here's your wage. Okay. That's how it gets transferred around. The money supply goes up 5% every year on average, friends. All right. I've shown you all the stats 5% on average every year. Average. Okay. So crypto, well, Satoshi said, hey, I've got another coin. Why don't you save in this just to see what happens? And that's what people have been doing. So we're like, you know what? I want to store my labor units in this. But this is a funny thing because there's still so many more people to onboard. Your labor units are getting more expensive when you're being when you're storing it in it, right? This is what is happening as the prices appreciate. Okay, now here's the thing: no one really is working for Bitcoin or Ethereum or altcoins, but when you DCA and then you keep DCAing your wage every week, you are. And the beautiful part is we're still early enough. There are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50x opportunities around, maybe not thousands of X's most of the time, okay, but there's still 10, 20, 30 X's around, such that you just rotating one month of wages. Think about it, man. You get a 12X, that's a year gained, all right? A year. If you get like a 24X, friends, that's, that's two years. Now, here's the thing. What if you were able to DCA? I know this is big. Don't do this, all right? Wink, wink. If you put in, say, one year of wages in, let's say someone earns 50K a year, and they were able to put 50K in, and they were able to make a 24X over a decade, well, guess what, friends? Right. You have one year or one year of wages or a 24x over time. You made 24 years. At least you retired. You have retired at that point. You pay a third to the government. Now you got 16 years and you just live off the interest, right? 5% on that. You're making about 0.9 months, 0.9 years of interest per year. That's easy. You're nine months of income for free. 
There you go, you've been. That's actually how people retire in crypto because they're dealing with units of time. Now, friends, if I have a look at the bubbles here, remember the bubbles just show what's been moving. This is funny. BTT is up for the most um, most today, 98%. Now, this is, this is what I'm just showing you, okay? What happened to all the coins from yesterday you saw? You had ordinals all up 80%. Now they're only 7% up. A crash is a big um, correction has occurred as well. All these other coins that were moving yesterday, now something else has just taken its turn. And of course, what are you going to ask? You're going to say, well, well, when's my turn? Here's the thing. No one knows. No one even knows if your coins are definitely going to have a turn. But here's, here's, here's what I know. This is what I definitely know. Okay, friends, I'm going I'm to show you a secret. I'm going to show you a secret right now. The secret is to buy stuff when no one has hit mainstream attention for it right now. This is Soy Lana. I'm going to put it on a regular chart, friends. I was buying, buying Soy Lana here. Okay, I bought, literally bought Soy Lana here. I made like 108x. And when did I sell? I sold when it went on Crypto Banter Show. I think ran here, made a full on week's episode dedicated to the Soy Lana conference. I mean, it's literally, friends, literally 108x up here. Okay, I literally sold the Pico top and then they had some big announcement. It was some trashy hackathon and then I just got rid of it. Okay, 108x. While everybody unfortunately was being told that Soy Lana is going to follow the fractal of Ethereum and it's going to hit $1,000. And that's what everybody was believing, okay? But I was trying to tell people, no, it's not. I'm out. See you later. Okay, but uh, is anybody going to listen? No, just because I had so many green candles in a row. These are monthly green candles here, right here, right? So these are monthly green candles. So that's a secret, right? You want to buy things when everybody thinks, eh, I'm really, really doubting it right now. All right, that's the time to get in. But now I'm going to show you another secret, okay? This is a poop coin called EOS. Now, EOS is abandoned now. The EOS community is like two people left. They raised 140,000 Bitcoin. That's right, you heard me. They raised 140,000 Bitcoin and they never did anything with it ever. Okay, so even EOS, this is the thing, have, just listen, okay? Please, perky ears, perky ears, keep your back straight, keep your puffy sippers on. Listen to what I'm saying right now. Even EOS, which did not spend their money, did not spend the funds, was abandoned, had nothing to do with DeFi, had nothing to do with gaming, NFT, metaverse, literally nothing to do with any 2021 narrative, not even a layer one chain um, that was EVM next to Ethereum, okay? This is the funny part. If you draw a fib from the top to the bottom, EOS, I mean, you can't make this up. I'm going to stretch it out to hit the bottom. You can't make this up. Tell me, it literally hit the 61% retrace. Effectively, what I'm telling you is if you buy junk, let's go back to this EOS chart, right? So it hit the 61% retrace. But look, who actually got to benefit? Look, it didn't even move up that much. Wow, 5x. But even EOS, I'm telling you, abandoned, no community, didn't have content created, shilling it, nothing, nothing. If you bought, when every single person was calling you an absolute poopy face, it still went to the 61% retrace, okay? So keep that in mind. Markets and these patterns, they seem to do these weird repeating things. Now, here's the funny part. Those FIB levels, they're also respected if you look at silver from the 1980s, if you look at um, the S&P 500 versus gold, they work. It's this, it's this weird Fibonacci sequence things, like we're all part of some sort of light spectrum, some weird intergalactic demon force things that just keep repeating over and over again. It comes in our emotions and the prices and then and time itself. It's very weird what's going on. But hey, at least you know this now. So now you know, when you look at these bubbles and you see, okay, things are going up and things are moving around, congratulations if you own half of these bags. Just telling you right now, now that you've seen those bubbles, it should be apparent to you. You go, wait a minute. I want to get a high probability win up to a retrace. I probably want to buy stuff that no one is saying is good. Everyone thinks he's trash right now. That's what I want. Okay. That's, that's basically, I'm not going to use the words free, but it's basically free at this point. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You might say, well, what about chain stink? What about chain stink? Well, friends, I'm going to show you Chainlink. When I come and show you Chainlink, look at this. Chainlink, from its from here to its FIB, its FIB is around 28 to 34 bucks. Have a look at this, okay? Have a look at 28 to 34 bucks. Look at that, it's only another 2x. 
It's only another two X from here. All right. Now I hope Chain Stink goes higher than this 28 to 34 bucks. I hope it goes 50, 100. I hope it goes all the way up here. I hope it goes to these extensions, friends. I hope it hits a 2.618 extension, 130 bucks, 180 dollars. I hope it does that. But here's the thing: hoping is not a strategy because I don't know what Bitcoin is going to do. I know people like Jamie Dildo want it to go to zero to destroy everybody. They want the principles of Bitcoin to go to zero. Okay, yeah, they want to keep the price, you know, sideways to keep trapping retailers so they can keep making their money, right, and sucking everyone in. So that's what I know is going to happen. And here's the thing. Are there opportunities out there where you can get this? Well, here's, you know, I'm going to show you something with Soylana now. Soylana has been recently moving as right. And look at this. If you draw a fib from the top to bottom, it's danger zone. The retraces is 130 to 160 bucks. Look, if you're buying it here, look what you're going to get another 2x. It's another 2x from here, you know? So people are saying, yes, they're cheering, they're cheering. Like this is unfortunately the tragedy of the masses. What you're cheering is insiders dumping on you, but you're cheering. Are you dumping? I've spoken to you all. No, you're not. You're not dumping. The people that have Solana, they're not selling it. Now, I'm not just specifically talking about Solana. I'm talking about all these other coins that are in the bubbles, right? Are you selling? I'll tell you right now, for every 10 people cheering, one selling, okay? Everybody else thinks it's just getting started. It's just getting started. It's going to keep going up. That's how you get caught. That's why people always buy and hold <clears throat> the top of the runs because they're told it's just getting started. This is it. Rocco Negra, buy the rumor, buy the news. They haven't even released the ETF yet. How many times have we been told, oh, as soon as they release the ETF, trillions of dollars, they're going to flow into our bags and they're just all going to magically rise up. And Qatar is going to be down 500 billion because they've transferred it to all the DGENs. Fat chance, friends. Want to know something funny? If you draw a fib, right? If you draw a fib on the hex chart, which you can, you draw a fib. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm doing the very, very bottom of the combined hex. So not this e-hex chart itself, the combined hex around here. Its fib is around 26 to 30 cents. And you know what? You can even be more conservative with that too. You can even say, you know what? I think only hex is going to top out at 20 cents. You can say that, right? If you look at the combined price, the combined price is 1.2 cents. Now, if you go back, you go to 1.2 cents and we, we're gonna bring up the rule line and say, all right, how much does it make at 20 cents? It's a 14X from here, all right? I'm not saying what you should do, okay? And by the way, remember, I'm even more bullish on Pulse and PulseX. Hopefully they do a double of that. So, in, you know that 14X, make it 28X. So I'm looking at 28X right? And other people are like, yes, yes, please keep going. You got a 2x left. 28 versus 2, all right? Now, I have chain so I'm cheering it on. I'm not going to exit now. I'm not exiting now. I want to see full euphoria. But when you're looking at these, people are looking at the news. I'm trading the chart. I'm trading something that took longer to top out and I think is going to sort its news out later on, which is what happens, friends. Price follows first, then the news comes out. So people who say, I don't want anything to do with it. No, no, no. I understand you don't want anything to do with it. That's okay. I'm just telling you, I buy the depression. I buy blood. Just contrarian. I want the cheap prices, <clears throat> right? I feel better knowing that EOS, dog shit EOS, no friends were there. No one. Friends, you know, I literally went on EOS. You can go find, find my Reddit account. I made an EOS thread because I didn't know back then. I was new to crypto back in 2020. I thought EOS was going to pump for like 10 bucks. I just was on the thread. I had a little bullet in it. And it had like th the, the main posts from the EOS announcements had like three comments. Imagine like official EOS upgrades and stuff, three comments. It weren't even upgrades. It were just posts. There was no one there. The whole, the Reddit for EOS, completely dead. And it still retraced. Strange, right? It's still retraced. So you, no, I don't, I don't want to use this. Don't, don't, don't like uh, attach yourself to this too much, but there's a margin of safety idea, all right? This is an important concept. It's just when we use margin of safety in stocks, it's if you sell the whole stock, 
what's the company worth? What's the business and the machine and the assets worth? Okay, now in crypto, there is no margin of safety. Everything's a freaking Ponzi, all right? <laughs> so, but our margin of safety is, well, if you believe in these intergalactic forces and then good news, bad news, just cycles, eventually all the bad news cycles into good news again and your margin of safety is hitting a 61% retrace, you know? And why doesn't everybody do it? But you can see why. The news is bad. The news is really, really bad. People aren't trading the charts. They're not looking at the charts. They're not saying, okay, forget the news, forget Richard Huff, forget everything else, okay? This thing topped later than those coins and it's still bottoming, right? I see opportunity. I see Bitcoin and Ethereum in the market gone up and we're still lagging. So I'm seeing weak hands sell one leg. So you see asset A and asset B. Asset A is Bitcoin, Ethereum, the rest of the market. They've all gone up and this thing's still lagging. People are saying, oh my God, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. But what I'm seeing is, I'm like, hey, who are these sellers? Who's all these iceberging offer sellers? These people have no idea what's going on. They're giving away free money, okay? But you being skeptic, you're like, what do they know? What do they know? They know something, no. All they know is that they feel bad. Yes, it's pricing in the bad news now. People pricing information today, they feel bad. Richard Hart's missing, PulseX doesn't have limit orders, whatever. Okay, they're pricing it in today. But I believe good news cycles with bad news, just like good emotions cycle with bad emotions, all right? And I'm happy to take the other side of that. And I feel so much better. I've just shown you there's a 14 to 28X upside from here. So I know every $100 put in could be two and a half grand. Look at this, every $100 put into Soilana here, turns into 200 bucks, right? So that's how you think about these odds, friends. And if you're wrong, you're wrong, okay? But just think about your upside when it comes to checking these out. So this is that Bitcoin, Mt. Gox, Ponzi, Cycle, Fractal. What's interesting, right, is we have actually overshot it. But it will be funny, friends, if this is literally the top. And I wanna mark for you where Bitcoin halvening is. This is Bitcoin halvening. I mean, wouldn't it be funny if we just dump into Bitcoin halvening, we bottom out, or if something weird happens, right? We go up after Bitcoin halvening and then trap everybody. You see that, friends? I'm drawing scenarios that nobody expects. So look, what do you want to do here, friends? Like, I'm here to win, okay? I don't care. Remember I told you, I made a video about the crypto trilemma problem. It's a triangle. You can only have two of these satisfied. Number one. The influencer makes money. Number two, you make money. Or me, right, when we're watching them. And number three is the influencer maintains a shiny reputation. Okay, you can only satisfy two. Influencers that you and me are watching, they can only satisfy two. So they always choose that they make money, of course, and then they save their reputation because it's an income source for them and because they're also scum. All right, they're shiny weasel scum and they're snake oil salesmen and they're pieces of poop, most of them, all right? So they always choose that. And who gets left out? The you make money, but you and me watching them, when we listen to them, we get left out, all right? Now, why am I different? It's because, you know that shiny reputation risk? Friend, everyone blocked me. Everyone's blocked me. I call them out on their garbage. Okay, this is absolute trash. Get me out of here. I don't care, friends. I, have, I literally, I don't care, okay? You can clearly tell I sniff a lot of chairs, I don't need, I don't need like an audience for this is, this is, this is spending more of my time educating people when I could be spending more of my time learning more advanced stuff myself. Okay. And hunting more stuff. So it's, it's a time sink for me. It takes a lot of time for me. Okay. But I do love and appreciate you. That's why I will still continue to do it. Cause I believe if you put good stuff out to the universe, good stuff comes back out. All right. So I don't have that reputation. Risk. I, I don't care. All right. Whatever. It's holy G. Look at you guys, wow. Friends, you know there's a circuit, right? There's a circuit of influencers, okay? To make it to the top and get the nice sponsorships and stuff, right? If I could show you my DMs when I was looking at them like five months ago, <laughs> I was just seeing these DMs from these exchanges. I was like, I hope he doesn't watch my latest video because <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know me, I'm literally the anti-exchange, anti-leverage trading dude, all right? So when it comes to these, you got to remember who you're actually listening to. And guess what? I can still be wrong at the end of the day. All right. But hey, you want to go by the top of the bubbles? So be it. I know what I'm doing because that's exactly why I'm still here. And that's exactly why 99% of the people that I knew from 2018, 19, 20, 
21, 22, that's five years since I joined, 99% of them, I don't see them anymore. They're gone. I wonder what happened. They probably sold the low, leveraged, traded, and they have friends. I've got a lot, a lot of war stories to tell you. Make sure you like, subscribe, bell button, all Bitcoin still at that $44,000 mark. Let's see how altcoins catch up. I'll catch you very soon.